Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. So today, um, I am going to be talking about GCSE art and kind of my experience with it so far. Um, if you guys don't know, I am in year 11 and I'm actually kind of coming towards the end of year 11. So obviously I've been doing the art course for about two years. I definitely feel like I can help some people out if they are struggling with whether to decide to even choose it or even if you are a year 10 or year 11 like in the middle of your course i'm also hoping that i can kind of give you some tips and some kind of inspiration as well the whole kind of point of why i'm actually making this video is because i had a couple of my um tiktok videos um get like a lot of views and a lot of comments um, asking different questions about gcsdr and kind of everything to my sketchbook um so i decided to make a youtube video fully dedicated to it rather than responding to like everybody individually basically how this video is going to be kind of structured i'm going to spend the first kind of couple of minutes kind of describing how or why i ended up like doing gccr and kind of my opinions on it and kind of the level of work that you have to do and everything like that and then the kind of second half of the video i'm gonna show you guys my sketchbook and literally go through it page by page so i'm literally just gonna go through my whole book and show you everything in there so far and if you've already chosen to do gcse art but you're kind of like looking for inspiration then i kind of skip to whatever part of the video is on the screen right now so i'm just gonna talk a bit about kind of why i ended up kind of choosing it as a subject basically i didn't have a hard decision choosing whether to do gcse art or not it was definitely a subject from pretty much the start of year seven that i knew i was gonna 100 percent take for gcse um i've always been like a super creative person i've always loved drawing and painting so it wasn't really in my mind of should i shouldn't i take it it was like a definite yes if you feel like you are a creative person and you kind of do better with kind of imaginative feet is that the right word and you kind of do better with like imagination -y kind of subjects then i'd 100 percent recommend taking it as a gcse option obviously also if you know that you're like naturally good at drawing or you're naturally good at painting or you're just naturally good at kind of creating things i'd also recommend to take it as a gcse because it's highly likely that you'll end up getting quite a good grade if you're naturally good at it and you don't have to put a lot of effort into kind of get better if you know what i mean also if you're deciding whether or not to take it i think you do have to take into consideration the amount of work because i'm sure that anyone that you've spoken to or any videos that you've watched has probably told you that it is a lot of work and it's a lot of effort and a lot of time obviously it's going to be you're literally making like a sketchbook so you're gonna have to put time and effort into it if you want to get a very high grade you can't really also say like a set amount of hours that you'd have to spend on it each week because I think each week varies depending on obviously what you're doing or what your teacher is asking you to do in your sketchbook so I think that it really does depend on how much effort you decide to put into it as a GCSE personally I spend hours on my sketchbook um I know especially towards the start of year 10 literally every weekend was just me sat at the table doing my art um and I get a lot of comments from like people in my year group saying oh my goodness me how have you like done so much in your sketchbook how do you have time to do it all how do you make all this artwork and do all of it and everything like that and I think it's because I know that I want a nine in my art and so I put as much effort as I possibly can and do as much in my sketchbook as I possibly can and it did pay off because at my school they do like honours awards so they kind of choose like the best student out of that year group or like out of two year groups and I ended up winning it for art so I was like super happy so yeah i definitely say that the workload is a lot obviously like i said you are literally making a sketchbook so you're gonna have to put time and effort into it but i would say that if you're dedicated to it and you enjoy it then it honestly doesn't feel like a lot of work for me i also took gcse textiles alongside art and the biggest question i get asked from literally anybody whether it's on like social media or in real life everybody always says to me how do you do like both creative subjects and i'm like i just i don't know i just do it like if you are willing to kind of 
put effort into it then it doesn't seem like a lot of work and obviously it depends because if you kind of get behind with all of your sketchbook work then obviously you're going to feel like you have a lot more to do um so i definitely say that if you are considering taking it then make sure to stay on top of your deadlines but yeah i think time wise and kind of work wise it genuinely does depend on your kind of desire to do it if you know what i mean obviously it is a coursework based subject if you didn't know so it's usually 60 percent coursework and then 40 percent exam um i unfortunately don't have an exam this year because they decided to take it out due to covid so it's literally coursework but usually um i'm assuming it's going to go back to normal next year um you would have 60 percent coursework which is your sketchbook and also a portfolio and then 40 percent exam so i mean i have done like mock exams um where we've had the 10 hours and we've sat down over two days and just did art um i really enjoyed them but that's because i absolutely love drawing so i didn't mind it it's up to you obviously whether you take it or not but i would definitely recommend it um it also if you guys are interested in the other gcse options i took i ended up taking textiles art um geography and economics um textiles and art like i said if you've got the motivation to do it then i'd 100 percent recommend it because each one also kind of like bounces off of the other one so like i've taken ideas from textiles and put them in my art book and vice versa and obviously it's less revision as well because you don't have to revise for an art exam it's like a lifesaver because i have so much less revision to do. if you know that you're a creative person and you really like drawing and kind of experimenting with different things then i'd 100 percent recommend it yeah i don't really have anything else to say on that kind of side i can kind of talk a bit about how i've like dealt with it as a year 10 and year 11 so if you've kind of skipped this part of the video as a current gcse student there's not really like a huge amount that i can actually say to you with regards to like just art as an overall subject um i think what would help more is if i went through my sketchbook so yeah but just one thing that i would say if you're um doing art like currently i think the biggest thing that you have to do if you're struggling with it is to not compare your work or your sketchbook to anybody else obviously look at other people's sketchbooks and look at other people's work because it kind of gives you like a gauge of where you should be or how much work you should be doing um or like the standard of your work so i think that it's like a hard thing obviously with art because you do see a lot of people's artwork a lot of the time and it, i know that it does get, kind of get hard sometimes when you're looking at someone else's drawing and you're like oh my goodness me that's amazing like mine looks really rubbish but i think that you've got to kind of remember that it's an individual subject after all um, and you always do obviously have time to improve it and kind of make your artwork better so i think that the biggest tip i would kind of give to you if you're doing it currently and you're struggling is to also make sure to kind of manage your time well with it so you could always talk to your teacher about it because i'm sure they will kind of understand that and help you and maybe like condense the amount of work that you actually have to do um because after all there's no like set amount of pages that you have to have it's just the way your sketchbook looks overall if you have like loads of pages to do maybe try not to put so much effort into each page obviously make it look presentable but if you know that you can do a page say in a couple of hours one way compared to like another way that would take you a couple of days just go for the shorter option because as long as it looks good and it looks presentable and everything looks kind of neat and tidy then it's fine um and you can always go back in at a later date to kind of edit pages that you don't really like so i'm gonna start going through my sketchbook and kind of talk to you page by page and kind of show you guys and talk to you about how i created each page and um, also keep in mind that obviously each teacher may be different as well so one teacher might want you to do something one way and then the other kind of would want you to do it another way so i'm just basing my, this video off of my experience and kind of things that my teachers told me yeah i'd always obviously check with your art teacher but doing the things that i say because obviously they might have a completely different opinion on it um you do two topics during gcse art my first one was natural forms and my second one is now structures um it does change like from school to school so obviously if you don't go to the same school as me then your topics uh, will most likely be different if you're doing similar ones then obviously that's cool no my lamp is really not 
so yeah this was my first page my first page is uh, a mind map but this is what you have to do at kind of the start of each topic looking back at it i don't actually hate it as a first page i think that there's way too much writing on here like i feel like it does look nice overall but i doubt the examiner is actually going to go through and read every single thing i've written um, so I'd definitely say to not put this much writing on your first page But I did add kind of extra drawing so as you can see that's drawn there And then I decided to kind of chop some of my pictures off and then draw the rest So as you see I've done it here um, I did it down here as well and on this one um, I also did it on this one and then I kind of drew some extra things kind of inspired by these pictures kind of all across the page so yeah as you can see I've kind of chosen to focus on two artists as well so I've got this one over here and then this one over here I don't like hate the fact that I did that uh, I'm not really sure why because it's just like a mind map so you don't really need to um, but yeah this was my first page and then for my second page i did an artist research so obviously your teacher will kind of go through uh step by step like what to put on each page this wasn't just kind of plucked out of my imagination and um, you do get told and so as you can see i decided to do a kind of close-up section of one of their drawings here and then i wrote a couple of facts about them and kind of what i liked about the work I think that's one of the most important things to do is to make sure that you're evaluating the work and why you actually chose to put it in your sketchbook rather than just having like random pictures everywhere. Um, and then as you can see, I have a little flap here um, where I've done an artist copy. Uh, and then over here, I just have another picture of her artwork, uh, just some writing about it and also my own drawing. Um, of a pair I think just in the style of her my next page is a photography page um, so as you can see I had to photograph some pairs and I've kind of done a bit of drawing in the background and I drew this camera here as well uh, and then also a little roll of film and I just have some more pictures uh, and then I kind of did like a half page thing um, where you kind of chop some of the page off and then i did this drawing here um which was actually in a, like a baseline assessment um this i got a seven in as you can see i don't really like this drawing at all um but i've just covered it with some uh like kind of translucent paper so that it doesn't transfer onto the page over here we kind of have a couple of experiments um i tried some pointillism and then there's just like another kind of copy of a pair um and then over here i just have taken some of my photographs and done the kind of halfway thing where i cut it in half and then draw the rest of it i really liked doing this um this one is literally not good at all but it's fine um and it's actually a little flap so if you open it up i've just got a title saying experiments and i've kind of written about why i chose to do that for each one uh this is hideous so we're not going to look at that for much longer but um yeah this is this page my next page um i think i remember being told to kind of not do a background on this one so that's why it kind of looks a bit plain compared to my other pages but i just have some garlic studies yeah i just have some swatches down here of some kind of brown tones um i've kind of written about it here and then done another garlic drawing um these i'm not gonna lie these aren't great but it's almost better that you have kind of work at the front of your book that you're not really so proud of because then it kind of shows your development as you kind of go through the course um, and yeah, as you can see, I've just had, uh, just written about some things here. This page has kind of got a bit dirty because I used oil paints. And as you can see, it kind of transferred onto this one, um, which was a shame. And it's kind of just a bit messy. This is just another photography page. I decided to zoom in on some of the photos and then draw them in colour pencil and kind of graphite pencil. Um, it's literally just pictures of squash. I didn't do any annotations on this page, I'm not really sure why, um, but yeah. And then this is another artist research page, so um, I have some facts about the artist and then some of their drawings. And then over here I did a copy of this one, so this is his image, and then I decided to copy it in graphite pencil. Uh, obviously I put the paper over it again so it doesn't smudge. And then on the other side, oh my goodness me, oh, oh my god I thought I ripped it. 
And then on the other side, you can see I just have some kind of swirly things uh, inspired by his images and just another one. And then a teeny bit of writing about my favorite kind of drawing and why I like it and everything like that. Then the next page, right, this, I haven't spoken about this, but our teacher highly recommended us to kind of go out and look at art galleries and then kind of record them in our book obviously it shows the examiner that you're interested in art and you yeah i obviously have an artist copy here so this is the artist drawing and then that is my copy i've just like kind of cut out some cardboard and then drawn over the top i have some writing about her and kind of what i liked and why i decided to visit her basically what i did was i printed out her images on the front and then i made like little pockets for them and you can take it out and turn it over and then that's my copy of it on the back so that's a copy of this one and then i did the same so this is her drawing and then that's mine uh, and then i did the same over here so this is her drawing and this is mine this one is actually mine <laughs> um and it's just got hers on the back. And then I have a little flap that just opens up and it just tells you a bit more about the exhibition. Um, so yeah, those are kind of extra pages that I did in my own time. And for this page, um, I cut it in half and then it was actually kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. I used like the cooker and I like put the flame up and I burnt my book. Um, it's kind of terrifying, but you can kind of see if my camera focuses, it's got like burnt edges. Uh, and this was like a copy uh, inspired by some of her work. Um, we did this at school, it, we like burnt into paper with like a hot thing, I don't really know what it is. Um, I've got some writing about her and then just some more writing about the artwork and why I like it. And then this is coming towards the end of my natural forms topic. So this is obviously some of my photography and we had to choose um, a kind of fruit to um, develop into um as you can see i chose berries this is a colored pencil drawing of this photo uh, and then over here you can see this is a drawing of this one and i have some writing about kind of why i chose to choose berries uh, and then the next page uh this is definitely one of my favorite pages in my sketchbook basically we had to do some observational drawings so as you can see i've got one of strawberries some little i don't know what these even are <laughs> um some berries and then I zoomed in just got some writing about it and then over here this is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done it's a like pencil and white pen and watercolor in one drawing and I'm sorry that's like a, the light is really harsh um but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite pages in my book um over here obviously all, all of this is also kind of done in lockdown as well uh, and then over here I just have another artist research page so I have an artist copy um, and kind of just some writing about her and we had to choose an artist that had a similar style to the kind of things that we wanted to produce and she was literally like I, I, I can't even imagine like, I can't even explain how like lucky I was to kind of find an artist because if you like look this is her drawing, right, and if I just go back to this page, I'd literally done, no, not that page, hold on. Where did it go? Oh, I went past it, oops. Uh, oh, not that one. I'd literally done it. Like, I'd done it already, and then I came across this person, and she had the exact same style, so, very lucky. Um, and then this is just some random um, drawings. Um, this is development and kind of experiment leading up to my final piece for this topic. Um, so it was me kind of showing the kind of route that I wanted to go down and um, yeah, I've just stuck these on there. I did these in watercolour and then I've added white um, pen over the top. And over here, this is the kind of end bit of my natural forms topic. Um, as you can see, I've done this drawing here um and i've then photocopied it over here and just added some watercolor in the background um i experimented with fine liner as well and then for my evaluation for my final piece um i've written about it here and then i've put like pictures of me kind of drawing it and then this is a very tiny image um of my final piece which was actually um i think it was it was like a bit bigger than a3 it was actually it wasn't a2 but like it was in between um, obviously I don't have that with me, it's in school, um, but yeah, that was a watercolour final piece that I did. This is the kind of last page of my natural forms topic. 
Uh, and then if you turn the page, oh, not that far. <laughs> Um, it goes on to my structures project. Now, this was the one that we started um, a couple of months ago, kind of at the start of year 11. I basically, like, really don't like these next few pages. Um, I actually kind of struggled with my structures topic, especially at the beginning, because I went down the kind of route of drawing buildings and like cities as you can see and then completely changed my whole idea and wanted to do shoes and clothes <laughs> as you can see i started off my mind map by using these four images and then i actually painted the rest of them um this one is definitely my favorite as you can see this is the image here and then everything else around it has been painted and then i just have um quite a few images here and i've just cut out structures uh from my book this mind map kind of went a bit insane, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's only really supposed to be a double page spread. And I think it, I ended up doing like four, three double page spreads. Which is a bit too much. Um, but this is the kind of other side. So I just have some more images of kind of shoes and cities and buildings and whatnot. Here's another one because I really wanted to go down the route of like New York um, for some reason. And like California. But... I obviously couldn't really do that because I'd never been to either of those places and so I couldn't actually get my own photography. But yeah, as you can see on this side I have some other pictures um, of London and different cities. Um, this, okay, no, I did end up doing more. <laughs> um, this is like a piece of acetate that I stuck in my book. Uh, again, with more pictures on. As you can see, this is a very plain and boring page. Um, I was gonna draw that and gave up so it's just a line drawing. Um, yeah, so I kind of hate all of these, um, but it's fine. Basically, this is me explaining that I completely changed my mind on what I wanted to do. Um, so obviously added some more inspiration pictures. And then I started my own photography page. Um, so I just took some pictures of some shoes and some different kind of clothing items. Again, I did like quite a few more pages than we were supposed to. There, is there a page in between there? I can't tell. I don't think so. Um, this is another one of those observational drawing pages and again this is 100% one of my favourite pages I've done. Um, I have this gouache and watercolour um, drawing of this shoe. I love this one, it's not like, <clears throat> it's not super realistic, it's kind of more cartoon like. Um, but I actually really en liked ending up how that turned out. I just have a graphite drawing um, of some Doc Martens. This is honestly one of my favourite drawings I've ever done. But yeah, that is definitely one of my favourite ones. And then over here I just have um, an artist research page. You're obviously usually expected to do um, artist copies. I ended up doing a lot more. Um, I ended up doing one down here one up here and then on the next page I ended up doing this one as well um, of this image here and then I ended up photocopying the line drawing and repeating it three times and then just adding different colours and then on the next page basically a A4 photocopy um, and it's only kind of like bits of it anyway um, of one of my of my other final piece that I did um, which is this huge like A2 drawing of some uh, Doc Martens, um, but I decided to photocopy it and add some yellow watercolour in the background and then over here as you can see I've kind of used the same watercolours as the background for this and then I've done a copy of um, some Converse but on like cardboard and then over here this actually isn't finished yet um, but it's again just an artist research page um, and this is a copy down here of this um, I've got some writing about her and kind of why I chose to research her. And then this, once it's finished, as you can see, it's literally in the process of being painted, um, is a copy of these shoes. Uh, and then over here, this very blue page, um, I did an observational drawing of some Jordans and I kind of wrote about it and what I want to improve. And then again, I have some acetate that I basically painted over with acrylic paint. And then I wrote, oh no, please don't fall out of my book. It's already happened once. Uh, and then here is a carbon copy. This is not finished, as you can see. It's literally, it looks horrible. Like I need to stick something over this. Um, it's another artist research page, which will be done. Um, but obviously at the moment it's not. 
This is a page I did last week. Um, it's of some image manipulations. So I think this will get marks for experiment. Um, I did this like weaving thing where basically I printed out two of the same images but I put like colour filters over them and then I've like physically weaved them into each other. And then over here I just took some of my photography and I digitally manipulated them um, using Pixar. I'm sure like loads of you have heard of it before. And then if you look over to the next page, this is basically we're coming up to um, doing our final piece and so our teacher made us literally sketch out some composition ideas um, based off of our photos we took. Uh, and then over here I'm kind of experimenting, so this was a copy that I did in Biro and then this one is going to be in acrylic paint and then I'm probably going to do some other drawings here obviously and maybe write about them and at the moment that is all that I have in my sketchbook. So yeah, that was um, a kind of quick tour of everything that is in my book so far. Um, I will hopefully do an updated version when I get to the end of the course and I actually get my final grade. I really hope um, that if you are either like a year seven, eight or nine deciding whether to take GCSE art um, as one of your options, I hope I've I kind of helped you or persuaded you to take it as an option I honestly recommend it so much it's so fun and also if you are a current year 10 or year 11 actually taking GCSE art I hope that I've kind of maybe given you some inspiration um, from obviously you seeing my um, sketchbook pages and I hope I've kind of helped you and given you some tips as well if any of you watching this have any questions or kind of things that you want to ask about the course please make sure to leave a comment down below so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in my next one bye